ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ಸಹನಾಭವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭವತ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೆ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಸುಖ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸ್ವಪ್ರಕಾಶ ವ್ಯಾಪಕ ನಾಮ ಅಧಿಷ್ಠಾನ ಬುಧ್ಯಬೋಧ್ಯ ಬುಧೇರ್ದೃಗ್ಯತ್ತು ನಿರ್ಮಲ ಅಪಾರಂ ಸರ್ವೇದಾಂತ ವೇದ್ಯ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಪರ ಮಹ ತದೇವಾಹಂ ನ ಮತ್ತೋನ್ಯದಿ ಮೇ ನಿಶ್ಚಿತ the description of the thinking of varchu who has got vairagya and what type of thinking brought him vairagya that is being presented so from 234 to 239 the thinking which brought him vairagya for the spouse the thinking which brought vairagya for children the thinking which brings vairagya for dhanam wealth so these are the three avenues you know spouse people are so much attached and children so much attached and wealth so much attached and how they are bringing this dukha in us so that we will have objective outlook towards them we are not really interested in creating hatred for them even though sometimes in some texts they talk about it that there there can be some hatred towards it kaka vishthavat like uh, this vairagya towards everything should be like a kaka vishtha means how you when you see the the droppings of the crow that how you will have this feeling that type of feeling you should have when you see the objects but we don't go that far that is told because people have got opposite too much acidic uh, solution is there therefore they put other side but what we want is a balanced approach objectivity which is swami ji used to use the word objectivity objectivity means what seeing things as they are as they are means what they have got some plus points and they have got some minus points and everything in the world is like this anything food has got plus point minus points sleeping has got plus point minus points there are none minus point is that you feel one person was telling some i don't like to sleep why it is a wastage of time <laughs> so it has got to, it takes away our time no if you really speaking our one third or at least one fourth life goes on sleep but we have to do it only the class if we can remain awake is good <laughs> class also we sleep so here everything we we need to see in a balanced manner with plus and minus so that we can look upon them without getting carried away without any repulsion or without any attraction we can see them as it is like how you you take your normal day food normal day food means what we thought that we are enjoying it at the same time it is not that we have got repulsive feeling also so we eat it roti sabji etc you eat it regularly roti sabji dal and all so so similarly with reference to everything it is if somebody ask you do you like roti sabji dal and all it's not that we like it means we look for it ha when will roti come it is not like that do we dislike it no that also is not that that is how everything we can have like that and since we already have got plus points in our mind means people generally get carried away by the company of spouse children and wealth 
So plus point need not be told. Therefore, minus points are being highlighted in Shastra. And he talked about spouse. He talked about this putra. That what all problems can be there with putra. So that is what we were seeing. That he gave a very big list. Starting he said before conception itself uh, worries are there. Then born, then worries are there. Then he grows up. Then he is not studying well also worries are there. That also is very included. <laughs> he said to make the child study is so difficult. And if child doesn't study well in the school, doesn't uh, answer properly in the school, how much tension will be there? And when he grows up, then marriage worries. How much worries are there? Parents nowadays so much worries. Now a little bit less in a way compared to earlier. Nowadays people say anyway they will find out. So, uh, but still worries are there. Homa, etc. But being done for marriage. What they call it? Uh, from uh, Parvati Homa, something is there. It's a particular Homa. But just for marriage. See, what Shiva Parvati or something is there? Uh, Shiva Parvati Homa. I used to sometimes suggest that you you have the vow of uh, this uh, Tirupati, Tirupati Kalyanam. Kalyanam is there, no? Something. Ah. So if you take a vow that, oh Lord, I will get you married. So Bhagavan will get you married. <laughs> <laughs> Bhagavan gets married almost every day. So, so many functions are there. Anyway, so people that worries are also there about the sun. And he said, for once marriage is fixed, he said, for performing marriage, for wedding function itself, so much. Dhanadi Arjane Mahan Klesha, so much wealth is to be spent. And Itham Yovanavadi Mata Pitroho Putra Vishayani Anadika Chinta. Anavadika Chinta. There is a limitless worries about the child till child grows adult, become adults. Now, up, up to this we had seen. So, worries set the childhood, one paragraph. Worries, he, when he grows up older, he, he grows, he become an adult, worries. Now what? Devagna Mukhat Putrasya Alpa Yushtvam Shrutva Apamrutya Pariharaya Pariharaya Anekan Anekopayan Acharanti. Now, as if problem is less, every now and then people will go to the astrologer and they will say, Devagna Mukha, Devagna means astrologer. So, hearing that the, your son has got Alpayusha, means only long life, I mean very short lifespan. And hearing that, they have to do what is Parihara? The astrologer will definitely tell Parihara. He cannot say that oh, no Parihara. So, he will say Parihara means the, uh, what is called, the <clears throat> way of, way of uh, neutralizing, neutralizing action. Atonement it is called. So, some action of this neutralizing those dosha, they will do a, so many of them. And nowadays are very, very expensive. Earlier it used to be 5 rupees, 10 rupees parihara. Now it will be 5,000, 50,000, 1 lakh, 2 lakhs parihara. Aneke, uh, aneke upayan acharati. And in fact, there is a psychology. If he tells you that you do only this uh, 5 rupees uh, oil lamp you offer, for this problem, you will not have Shraddha. You will think my big problem, such a big problem will be solved by only 5 rupees oil lamp. No, no, no. But if it tells you is a 55,000, then ah, I think it must be solved. Right? So that's why also it works. You know. Now, if people have the psychology. They, for I People generally think their problem is always big. Other people have small problem. Everybody thinks. So I mean, my problem, I can't talk about it. You people have what, Swamiji? You just study, teach and all this. <laughs> really, they feel... What, Swamiji? What are you doing? Just you study. That's all. In a nice, comfortable chair. Fan is there. Light is there. All. And teach you. Whatever you feel like you teach, you see what you are teaching now. You teach. And what are you doing here? You have no problem. See, Swamiji, we have to go on. So much computation is there. Anytime we can be laid up. So always we feel what? That our problems are big. Everybody has got small problem. And so we think we have big problem. And we when big problems are there, we always think solution should be big. Therefore, the this astrologer nowadays they have understood. They will give you this solution which is of this range. Depending upon the person, they will give. 
if this person uh, our shrinivasan goes he will not say 5 lakhs so, <laughs> <laughs> 50 rupees <laughs> all right so aneka so many so so many upaya pariharas are to be prescribed for this putra okay then bhagya mandyat yadi sutah mriyate because of this <coughs> misfortune bhagya mandya means misfortune yadi if son is died son dies tada mata pitaro urasi shirasi cha taadayanto yavat jeevam rudita then mother and father beating on their urasi the chest and shirasi on the head taadayanta means beating yavat jeevam for whole life rudita they keep praying and bala rishta divya uttirna putra yada kruta dara bhavati tada dushikshita 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 putra swadara patya deen eva athi adarena poshayati this is a modern problem and earlier also it was there so he is writing means it was there what is the problem by chance that child did not have any bala rishta means misfortune of the childhood or youth and uttirna means he crossed over all the hurdles and when krutadara bhavati krutadara means married krutadara yena the one by whom the wife is accomplished is called krutadara so when a person is married in sanskrit we have got so many words for getting married and all so many so one is krutadara So he is, he is married. Tada. Then, Dushikshita Putra. He said, Putra who has not been taught, brought up well. If he has brought up well, then this type of situation will not happen. But if it is not, a child is not brought up well, means wrong alaya, in, inappropriately brought up. Not brought up well. Not trained well. Not refined well. Then what? Swadara Patyadin Eva Ati Adarena Poshayati. Then this fellow will nourish his own son, his own wife, alone with so much sense of significance, respect. Natu Mahata Kleshena Samrakshita Vanto Pitaro. He will not nourish his own parents who have protected him with great difficulty. So he will forget that. the past and he will be seeing that my present the uh, person associated wife and children they are giving me joy the father parents have already done so now what they are doing they cannot do anything only they can give advice which i don't want so <laughs> so therefore he, he doesn't get any source he doesn't get any happiness for parents now therefore he gives this all uh, attention nourishment to his wife children etc ati adarana with great respect even if children say we don't want still is a no no you eat you take milk has become very fat but you parents always feel that my child is not uh, so so strong so fat enough so we keep on giving milk 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 so ati adarana poshayati why dushikshita since he was not brought up well you know that is also one one reason sometimes even brought up well doesn't take care that also is there but one reason for this they are not taking care of parents is that they themselves are not brought up well and one one way of not bringing them up is that parents have not taught the children how to take care of their parents means that themselves did not take care of their parents so the pair the children will learn no that when the parents get old they should be sent to senior citizen home old age only we don't say senior citizen <clears throat> like the story comes that that uh, one man uh, one uh, family they used to they they were not treating their parents well husband and wife were not treating parents well they used to keep in one room and one very old vessel with some holes and all they used to Uh, keep give food in that only that also with so much disrespect so when 
that vessel was getting lost then the child uh, was worried the child said where is that where is that vessel so parents said that why you are so much worried about that vessel he said when you grow old that vessel will be required for you <laughs> then what i want to i want to keep it intact <laughs> so dushikshita so if they have not treated their parents well children get you know they say that non verbal communication is more powerful than verbal communication they will see what how they have treated their parents so they think that, that is how they are to be treated and therefore dushikshitaha putraha swadara patyadin eva ati adarena poshayati nahatu mahata kleshena samrakshitavanto pitarau and this this is bound to happen to some extent that human mind always gives more importance to the present source of happiness not the past because present source has to be kept in good mood so that the the happiness supply continues the pleasure supply continues the past doesn't matter past is already done and <clears throat> therefore this is bound to happen so when you are not useful to others people do not take care of you it is just understanding they there there should not be any complain about it who oh, i did so much for you and you are doing like this it will be like this you know this is how like old furniture will be old furniture only you cannot expect old furniture cannot expect to be treated like a new furniture so you are like an old furniture so they have kept you in some loft somewhere so that's good so you will be kept in some loft that is how it will be but if child is having been given samskara then he will treat the parents with respect he may not be able to give so much attention as he gives to his own child but at least to some extent he will be treating the parents properly at least some time he spends but he spends quality time and he takes care of his physical needs and sometimes parents themselves are little too demanding they want that child to uh, listen to their complaints every day he every day this person has already by hearted what are problems parent father has <laughs> because every day he repeats an order also he knows so he said now i am not i am able to eat only two and a half rotis then uh, sabji only this much i can eat only i used to eat so much all this complaint he is giving every day and he sometimes parents forget child has got good son has got good memory he remembers that problem happens so this is how this the look son becomes the source of dukha bharya tad bandhu another problem bharya tad bandhu janadhinah pitarau adikshipati cha marma bhedi bih ninda vachanehi now another problem is this fellow this boy son who has is married now is bharya tad bandhu janadhinah he is now so much dependent upon his wife and her relatives means brother in law father in law mother in law so he is now dependent on them them pitaro being dependent upon his wife and relatives of her wife therefore pitaro adikshipati he insults parents because wife will complain see your father mother was talking like this your father was doing like this i keep i keep the place clean and your father does this he keeps uh, he is fitting everywhere so and uh, he gets angry so he adikshipati cha and how marma bhedi bihi ninda vachanehi by the words the critics words of criticism which will be piercing the heart marma means a vital part especially the heart so he said uh, he will say that why uh, you such a long life you have or something like that he will say you are blind you don't understand anything you have never been refined like this you 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 have never understood the etiquette how to live in this big house and all you have lived in village so you are fit for village only or something like that marma bhedi vachanai i am imagining what all can be said in <laughs> that also in the class so marma bhedi bhi vachanai then दुष्कृत फलभूत भूत असत् पुत्र पितृपाजिता प्रभूत धनम सर्वोपकरण बलादाय 
ಪಿತರೌ ಶರೀರ ಮಾತ್ರ ಶರೀರ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅವಶೇಷಿತೌ ಅವಶೇಷಿತೌ ಗೃಹೆ ಅವಸ್ಥಾಪ್ಯ ಸ್ವಧಾರಾಪತ್ಯಾದಿಭಿ ಸಹ ಅನ್ಯತ್ರ ಗತ್ವ ಸುಖಂ ವಸತಿ ಸೊ ವಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಗೋ ಆಲ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇ ಸೈಜ್ ದುಷ್ಕೃತ ಫಲಭೂತ ಅಸತ್ ಪುತ್ರ ರಾಂಗ್ ಸನ್ ವಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ದೇಸೆ ಪೂರ್ವ ಜನ್ಮ ಕೃತ ಪಾಪಂ ಪುತ್ರ ರೂಪೇಣ ಜಾಯತೆ ಸೊ ದಿ ಪಾಪಂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಜನ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಬೋರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ರಾಂಗ್ ಸನ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ಲೇಮ್ ಎನಿ ಬಡಿ ಇಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟು ಸೇ ವೈ ಡಿಡ್ ಐ ಡೂ ಆ ಸಚ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಓ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಮೀ ಅಲರ್ಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ so i should not do wrong karma because of the past wrong karma you get such a son that was why i said this dushkruta phala bhuta asat putra the wrong son who is the result of wrong action pitro parjitam prabhutam dhanam sarvopakaranani cha balad adaya having taken away forcefully what all prabhutam dhanam lot of wealth which was earned by the father they say no what is called hard earned money so pitra upardhitam prabhutam dhanam sarvopakaranani all fridge etc fridge tv etc sarvopakaranani cha balat adaya having taken away forcefully he you don't require you don't know even how to use tv i will use it refrigerator you don't know you disconnect so the refrigerator is spoiled i will take it so everything he takes away and pitaro parents sharira matra avasheshito they are just remaining with this physical body means they are very weak grihe avasthapya having left them in home in the house swadara patyadi bihi along with his wife and children saha with with them anyatra gatva having gone somewhere else sukham vasati he stays there comfortably some years some months ago i had seen one video the son is telling i from gujarat i think it had come so this son is telling i am going away the wife is there is i am going away father is doing namaskara to the son falling at his feet don't go don't go and son is going 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 that's how this video was so he he takes away everything and he goes away parents want their child to son to stay with them so gatva sukham vasati <coughs> sukham apparently really they cannot be happy but sukham vasati comfortably here sukham is comfortably not happily comfortably stays and for the see the virtues description is like as though the granthakara is out to create vairagya somehow he should have vairagya so he is raising the intensity so he is not going to okay or go bolu so he is he is putting more and more volume of this vairagya more and more volume of do, dosha darshanam <clears throat> what he says mahata kleshena samvardita vatoho pitroho annapane api na kalpayati he does not organize na kalpayati means does not organize for annapane food and uh, water etc drink pitroho parents what type of parents mahata kleshena samvardita vatah the parents who had brought up this child with great difficulty for such parents the food and the water also he does not organize and pratyuta on the other hand pitroho upakuruvantam dayalum shapati api he said not only he will not provide food and water pitroho upakurvantam if somebody is helping to the parents to that person also dayalum some compassionate person pratyutam is on the other hand he himself does not provide food and water on the other hand he he will shapati he will criticize even criticize the person a compassionate person who is helping the parents why are you going to my parents so you want to show me in a very you know bad light so therefore you are going in helping they are okay why are you helping you help your parents don't disturb in our family 
I know how to take care of them. They want to remain independent. I always will say, so Shapati, so that fellow also will be said, uh, will be, it will be discouraged. Itam papinam putram prapya pitaro dirge nishpasitaha. In this manner, having attained the son with all the wrong actions, pitaro parents, having attained the son, parents, dirge, dirgam nishpasitaha. Dirgam, dirge is that? Dirgam only, no? Dirgam only. So, dirgam means long. Nishpasita means size. Long breathing. Like this. They will be sighing very long. Means, what type of son we have got? Itham putravata anubhuyamanam mahad dukkham na aputrasya si. In this manner, the, ex, the great dukkha experienced by the person who has got son, that dukkham aputrasya. For the sonless, issueless person, it is not there. So, great dukkha experienced by the person who has got son, that dukkha is not there with a person who doesn't have son because he already doesn't have. So, he has somehow reconciled. He will also have pain, but the person will have more pain. Na aputrasya asti. Alright. Itham evam sarva dukkha nidanam jaya putra dikam jnatva vivekinaha dare shanayaha putre shanayaha cha vittishthanti. He is paraphrasing the vakya of brahadaranyaka. Putre shanayasha vitte shanayasha. So here putre shanaya, dare shanayasha. Evam in this manner. Sarva Dukkha Nidanam Jaya Putra Dikam Dhatva. Having understood wife, son, etc. to be the cause for all Dukkha, Vivekinaha, the discriminative people, Dare Shanayaha, from the desire for wife, desire for the son, Yutishthanti. They, they outgrow the desire for again marriage or again having child in the next life at least. This Janma, they should have enough Vairagya so that, that they will not have desire for wife or desire for children. But this Vairagya is not that easy. I have seen that, that parents, they suffer a lot from their children. But finally, they give all money to their children only. <laughs> they get solace from somebody else. But money they have to give, they will give to children only who have suffered, who have afflicted them. They don't give to this ashram or somebody. They give to only children only. That, that raga still remains. Still, whenever there is there, some puja is to be done. Ha, as a son, they will do puja. It's very, very difficult to get uh, this vairagyam for the spouse and children. It requires a lot of blessings, a lot of grace of the Lord. And uh, sincere introspection, satsanga, etc., then only this vairagya comes. Otherwise, see, with suffering also, people like to remain with them. So, with dishthanti, only some people they outgrow. But if they don't outgrow and they have continue to be with them because they do not know any other option, they do not have any other source of happiness, source of security, source of well being. Therefore, they continue to be there. Mahataha Sukrutasya Falabhutaha Pitarau Devata Buddhya Samaradayan Satputraha Tu Dullabataraha. So, he is answering one Nanu. Nanu Sarvehe Putra, Sarve Putraha Idrishaha Na Bhavanti. So, Putraha Api Santi Chet, Iti Chet. So, that type of doubt may come. I am just creating. It is not given here. So, is, you don't uh, talk like this. There are so many good children also I know. They take care of parents so well. I have seen some children really take care. Very well. I have seen. They take care of parents so well. So, why do you say putras are like this and all? Iti chet, if this is your doubt, he gives answer. <laughs> I said. Mahata sukrutasya palabhutaha satputraha tu dullabataraha. Satputraha. Good son. What type of good son? Pitarau Devata Buddhya Samaradayan. Worshipping the parents with the attitude of Bhagavan, the Lord. 
सत्सत्पुत्र इज फलभूत इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ सुकृत महत ऑफ ग्रेट पुण्य रिजल्ट ऑफ ग्रेट पुण्य एंड ग्रेट पुण्य एवरीबडी डजन डू देर फॉर वॉट दुर्लभ तरह नॉट दुर्लभ वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट सच ए सन बिकॉज वेरी फ्यू पीपल डू गुड कर्मा टू गेट सच ए सन सो इफ यू फील दैट स्वामी जी वाई आई गॉट सच ए सन माई नेबर एज गॉट अ वेरी गुड सन बिकॉज ई डिड गुड कर्मा यू डिड नॉट डू गुड कर्मा so when time was there to do good karma you were sleeping and you were very busy with doing wrong action and so that time he was he, he was sweating with all good karma doing and that time you were having enjoyment in the is adharmik bhoga so you did papa so you have to get the result of this so you cannot complain why bhagwan you are so unjust to you so i am such a good person every day reading vishnu sahasra nama Still, I have got such a son, and that fellow is reading all the time film books and all. Still, he has got a uh, very good son because he had earned, he has earned earlier punyam, so he is enjoying that. And uh, this one is, I have not done it. But this, this, this explanation is based on law of karma. But this law of karma is to be handled properly because if this type of thinking is not handled properly. person will have double guilt double problem one is that he is suffering from the wrong behavior of his son over and above he has this oh i have done papa i have done papa <laughs> so healthy attitude is that yes the present son is the result of dushkarma there is no doubt about it but this dushkarma is presented in this form for what purpose it is a shiksha Shiksha. Shiksha means what? Teaching. This shiksha has got both the meanings. This is uh, teaching and punishment. If I look upon it as a punishment from the Lord, then I will have I will have so much misery, so much sorrow. Instead of that, I look upon it as this shiksha. Bhagwan is teaching me what that you remain on the path of dharma. so bhagwan is giving me a lesson that please follow dharma because of past i have suffered but it is now onwards i do dharma so that i don't have to suffer in future in this manner this particular topic should be seen otherwise person swami ji already i am unhappy and you are putting me more more guilt it is your problem so does it mean my son is doing his right only so he, he is not responsible swami ji you are indirectly you are telling this no that you are responsible so my son is doing wrong thing and you are considering me to be responsible what type of uh, shastra you are teaching so but it has to be seen properly all right so now this dukha description based on the son so this description can help to some people who don't have children लुकी and somebody did not get married also or oh, that swami ji milai nahi so that also can be seen as a blessing i tried swami ji but somehow didn't happen so take it as a blessing all right now dhana sangaja dukham dara part number 1 over this apatya san daughter dukham over now dhana sangaja dukham the dukha pain born of the attachment to wealth here also same point which we had seen dhanam itself is not dukham or dhanam itself is not the cause for dukham but attachment to dhanam inappropriate attitude towards wealth inappropriate approach inappropriate ways of handling wealth that creates dukham so dhana sangaja dukham 
the pain born of attachment to dhan acha what are the dukham dara patyadikam parityajya dhanam eva kaankshatah mahattaram dukham somebody says that i am not interested in wife i am not interested in children i am interested in money so dara patyadikam parityajya having given up this spouse and uh, children means not having interest in that or even it was their divorce son and uh, son and wife both they miss abandon because they are spending so much money so many my wife is spending so much money my children are spending so much money so i divorce them so dhara patya dikam parityajya dhanam eva kaankshantah kaankshatah a person who wants money money and money alone there are some people i have seen that their wife and children will be suffering a lot even though this fellow has so much money but wife not allowed to spend money children also not spend allowed to spend money so so much hardship even though the necessary things are uh, treatment medicine required that also they will not provide he said langanam param aushadam so any fever is there child son has got fever he say what what medicine oh he, he, he make him fast let him fast for two days everything be all right because fasting doesn't cost anything in fact it saves your food also so he will always talk like this the children become unwell you you just uh, give them natural air you put some mud bath everything be all right very very uh, and this person is what he is a self made man means in his childhood he did not have resources and therefore he he, he thinks that my children also should not have resources or my children should not have that facility whatever facility is giving that also is giving with so much you know so much cringing so much uh, reluctance and uh, this pain and therefore he will make the life of children miserable which is swami ji used to say he said you should never be born to a self made person the person who claims nobody is self made really speaking self made is a notion how can you say i am self made you your body was made by your parents or bhagwan so you you forget your con- the contribution by others and you say self made person and this self made person has lot of money but he is always busy with earning money never allowing to spend money that is that person has mahattara dukha great dukha so dhanam also is cause for dukha bhav धनम ही अर्जने व्यये रक्षणे हानौ च दुःखमेव विदत्ते धनम विदत्ते मींस गिव्स दुःखम व्हेन अर्जने अर्जने मींस इन एक्वायरिंग वेल्थ देयर इज लॉट ऑफ दुःखम व्यये व्हेन इट इज स्पेंट आल्सो पीपल हैव लॉट ऑफ दुःखम सो मच मनी स्पेंट सो मच मनी स्पेंट पीपल से दैट अभी सो मच मनी स्पेंट आई सेड टू यू अर्निंग एंड स्पेंडिंग व्हाट इज दैट सो मच स्पेंट व्यये दुःखम rakshane dukham swami ji i have to protect my money and therefore they put it somewhere in the underground and uh, that they, they will after but nobody if that person doesn't spend and nobody knows us so after few years when something uh, building is uh, renovated that time money comes out so so much rakshana how to protect money people don't get sleep also because they are so much conscious money is that somebody will take away रक्षण दुखम हानो बाय चांस इट गोज अवे समबडी टेक्स अवे दुखम एव विदत्ते अनवधिक धनार्जन सक्तः पुरुषः निरवधिकान पापान आचरति ए पर्सन हु इज हाईली अटैच अनवधिक धनार्जन सक्तः पर्सन हु इज अटैच टू दिस एंडलेस वेल्थ मींस ही डजंट हैव अपर लिमिट you ask him that you tell me how much you want to earn he said i will earn as much as i can sky is the limit so such a person who was highly attached to earn endless money niravadikan papan acharati that person does endless papas nana narth bhajanam cha bhavati naturally when he does papam then he become the recipient of many problems so he cannot he, he because he has done so many papa violation 
therefore he cannot <coughs> sleep happily and he has to be always he will be afraid of ed ed means uh, what they call uh, enforcement director so that there are so many income tax people and all afraid and sometimes will be caught then he has to leave the country and stay some island or somewhere अहिंसा and they were involved in mixing the animal fat in this edible oil this the peanut oil you know groundnut oil and all this that they were mixing the, the oil they were mixing animal fat and uh, that which comes from slaughterhouse so all this otherwise they are known for that even the light also they will not switch on after after evening that also they minimize but now involved in this in their family all were following the vegetarianism and he starts this mutton shop kula dharma antyajati uka so so they starts all this bar he will start a bar it's very because there is so much income in that so all kula dharma antyajati nana gora karmana dhanarjane pravruttah api sva purva drishta yattam eva dhanam labate nadikam this is one the uh, important siddhanta generally he talked about in our shastra what is that nana ghora karmana dhanarjane pravruttah api purusha a person who is engaged in acquiring the wealth by very various terrible actions even then sva purva adrishta yattam eva dhanam labate he attains the wealth depending upon the punyam he has earned earlier na adhikam not more so generally the wealth etc is decided by this purva drishta and of course the present uh, effort will have some marginal effect but uh, most of the time it is based on the punyam and still he will be thinking that by adharma i will do wrong things i will fool the government i will fool people and by that i will attain wealth so that is not so It is not that by doing some wrong karma he will get wealth. It is because of punya he has got wealth, and only because of his durvruti he is going, he is doing adharma that will give him papam and that will give him suffering. So anyway, it was to come. He did extra adharma, and because of that he has to suffer. That is the astika's view approach. And and. Uh, we can see this to some extent there are some people who work very hard but they earn very little there are some people earn hard work very little they earn so much so i have seen that some swamis you know they, they do so many activities go this place that place that place but hardly they have got resources and some swami or even swamis is the apples they do don't do so much but things come to them how it happens is some adrishta we can see that i have been seeing in my life <laughs> generally things come to me i'm relatively easily so and some people i have seen that they work so hard you know i wonder the how come those work so hard you know? but still they can't enjoy you know? they don't get the things narabda is a very important factor in in getting wealth also and we do purushartha definitely it is not a purushartha is useless purushartha we do but we make sure our purushartha is in the fold of dharma so that at least we don't earn papam creating the seed for the future suffering so you do your duties you do your business etc so that you have got a one thing to you you will remain fit you will not become lazy and you will not have this depression yeah if you don't do anything then if you are not having maturity depression can come but even while making efforts for wealth 
make sure it is not outside the fold of dharma because even if you try so many on the unrighteous means wealth whatever it is going to come will come and you are just extra papam you are earning and therefore but still people have so much attachment to wealth therefore they do adharma ve sati dhanam chiye taiti bhitya na svabhogaya api ishad api dhanam vyayam karoti ve sati dhanam chiye ta if i spend then money will be exhausted iti bhitya with this fear na svabhogaya api even for his own enjoyment ईषदी धन व्यय न करोतीट स्पेड एनी मनी ईवन फॉर हिमसेल्फ कि महांत क्लेश नाना कुमारे ही तधन वर्धयन एव मीयते बट एक्सपीरियंसिंग लॉट ऑफ सफरिंग नाना कुमारे ही बै वेरियस रॉन्ग मेथड्स तधन वर्धयन एव इंक्रीजिंग दट वेल्थ अलोन मीयते ही डाइस there are some even uh, this people who have taken this the life of uh, sanyasa but without maturity they keep on take collecting money 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 and even they have some physical disease they don't go for treatment so much expensive so much expensive and uh, they die that all money goes to somebody sometimes the bank officer will take earlier the time it is stopped he said swami ji uh, the bank officer was telling that this swami has never withdrawn money always deposited that their account is always like this then that money will go because nobody is there so mriyate swabhogaya va paropakare va viniyoge asati yadi devavasha dhanam nashyati tada apare shoka sagare nimajjati so swabhogaya va paropakare va viniyoge asati when money is not used for one's own enjoyment or for the benefit of others helping others and therefore what happens deva vasha dhanam nashyati means it is stolen or whatever property is there is destroyed then apare shoka sagare in endless ocean of sorrow nimajjati he is he is uh, immersed then itham dhanam dhanam ananta dukha karanam bhavati in this manner wealth if it is not handled properly with proper frame of mind if it is not handled ananta dukha karanam bhavati it becomes the cause for endless dukha now we see in the next class om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate om shanti 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः